In this video, we're going to explore how we can use the array index of in JavaScript. And the array index of method helps you to pinpoint the index value of a certain element. So let's start and explore how to do that exactly. But before that, if you want to learn more about Chart.js, check out my Chart.js course on Udemy. You can find the link in the description box. All right, so we have here our HTML file, and this is our template, very straightforward design. However, we don't need any of that. We're going to use the console log. So what we're going to do here first is we're going to create a new constant with an array. We have the constant here, and what we're going to do in here, we're going to give it, let's say, one. And in here, we're going to create the array. And we're going to say here will be April, March, I'm just going to do a random number. You can put in a random as well. Uh, July, January, and Feb. So as you can see, they are not on chronological order, and June is missing here, and this is on purpose. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use the index of, the array index of method to figure out which element value, or which index, sorry, not, not element, but the index value we're going to get. So let me be very clear here, if you're maybe confused with index and element. So I'm using these two uh, intertwined, but they're not exactly intertwined. So when we talk about index, we're talking about these numbers. April would be 0, March would be 1, this would be 2, 3, and 4. This is when I talk about index. So if I say April, on the index number of April is 0. And the reason why is because a array always starts counting from number zero. It's a zero base counting. If we're talking about element, and if I say the first element, April is the first element. So basically this, now if we talk about elements, it just counts from one, two, three, four, and five. So we have these two terms. And these two terms are very important in an array. And you might get confused with it, but if you understand that the index is always starting the counting from zero here, because it looks at the position, which is the first first one in the position, but the element, we're talking about the value itself. So we say the first element, which makes sense because you cannot say the zero element or the zero element. So we say here the first element, which is which has the index of zero. All right. So I hope that will clear out some of your some of your confusion so let's comment this out because we cannot use this here right now what we're going to do here now is we say here month dot and then we say here index of with capital letter o and then in here we're going to select for example we want to have january if you are under, aware and understand right now my explanation here below you understand that january has an index of number three and is the fourth element the fourth element in the array but it's the index number is number three so we say here January and let's put it in here and we just make the console.log open up this and close it here save this and once we refresh here and open up our developer tab you'll find now it says here the index number three is that correct number three is January because this is the fourth element and that's the third in the index so this is correct and we can double test this by saying console dot dot and then we say I want to show month and then I want the third item or sorry the third index number in here so let's refresh and we see here again there you are, number three equals January. And we could even do it like this. For example, we have this part of the code. We just insert it in here. And then, as we see, you will see here, as we do that, you'll see we get exactly the same here. Month index number, it gets the same item. So this is basically how you can use the array.index of method in JavaScript. And this can be very useful not only for JavaScript, but if you're going to look for ChartJS and you want to explore ChartJS more, this can be very, very helpful. So if you like these kind of videos, subscribe to my channel where I talk a lot about different kind of JavaScript parts and specifically the arrays, which are very useful for ChartJS. And if you have any questions going to this, put them in the comment section below.